I know, Roosty, right? Ain't a joke in my map right now. trying to hit those leaves up there. I think you're supposed to wait until the leaves fall and then you rake the leaves off the ground. Oh, I so. Welcome back y'all. We are outside this afternoon. I have my hair pulled back in hopes that the humidity doesn't destroy it while I'm out here. It still will but maybe it won't be as bad. It's been pouring down rain pretty much all day long and it's supposed to start back in about an hour. We're, I think we're supposed to actually get thunderstorms the rest of the evening. I decided we'd come out and get a little outside time before it starts back and before we cook supper. Ooh, what you doing? Tregan. Tregan? I'm not sure what Tregan is. I oh, know. it worked. <laughs> the chicks are all out. We got fresh hay and everything in their coops where they can go when it's raining and all. So when it stopped raining, they all jumped out too. Everybody wants to get out for a minute. <laughs> Good afternoon. Right there. That is a worm. Whoa, mm -hmm. it's shabby. <laughs> yeah, it's a slimy worm. This is shabby. I can't get it. All this rain is making everything grow so much, it's feeling like a rainforest back here. <laughs> I know, Roosty, right? It is. You still treating? Yeah. <laughs> For supper tonight, we're gonna have chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. I'm about to go in and start making it. You gotta clean your trigger. Yeah. Yep. It's all clean. I gotta put it up. I gotta clean it. <laughs> Beautiful leaf. Oh, that is a beautiful leaf. Thanks. Don't break it. I won't break it. Jonah's coming in to make him some hot chocolate. y'all for this chicken broccoli and rice casserole we're gonna be using a rotisserie chicken Jake went and picked up a couple of them from Ingles for me I've got some oil heating up in the skillet over here I'm gonna chop up an onion and throw it in there and let that be cooking while I get the chicken ready so we've got the onion in here I'm also gonna put about a tablespoon of minced garlic we're going back to the original kitchen helper tonight it's Jake He's shredding the cheese for me. Bubble cut you a piece. <laughs> when Manly gets old enough to shred the cheese, we'll have a problem. <laughs> when it gets time to add the cheese to the recipe, there may not be any. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a knife and just do a rough chop of this chicken, cause like I said, it doesn't matter if there are some big pieces, some little, that's kind of what we want. This is a rustic broccoli chicken cheddar casserole. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add the chicken over here into the skillet with the onions and garlic. I don't think I'm gonna have enough room in this skillet to actually cook the whole thing in here. I'm gonna have to transfer it to a nine by 13, but we'll go ahead and put the chicken and the broccoli in here. So I'm using two 12 ounce bags of frozen broccoli, but you can use fresh. If you wanna use fresh broccoli instead, I'm just gonna go ahead, dump it over here into the skillet with the chicken. For the sauce, we're putting in one can of cream of celery. You can use cream of chicken if you'd rather use that, or you can use the cheddar cheese soup. That would be really good. Now I have a little bit of sour cream left in this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of this in. We need about 
16 ounces of sour cream. So this probably just has about six ounces left in it. We'll go ahead and get rid of it. Then we'll open the new one. This is almost a whole 32 ounce carton. Yeah, that's it. This is almost a whole 32 ounce carton of chicken broth. It's probably, probably like 24 ounces still left in here. I'm not gonna put quite all of it yet. We'll see how much more we need of it in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this together. We'll see if we need to add a little more because the rice, you know, it needs to be enough liquid to cook the rice whenever we add it in. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with a little bit more. Just go ahead and put the rest of that in there. So about 24 ounces of chicken broth. Now we're gonna put some salt and pepper and just a little bit of garlic powder, about a teaspoon. Okay, now we'll just sit this over to the side. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer this chicken and uh, broccoli to a bigger bowl because this skillet is just not big enough. Now I'm making a lot of this casserole, but if you just need half of the recipe, you can make this whole thing in the skillet, like everything, and then just stick the skillet in the oven. Now let's see if we can mix this a little better here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the cheese. I'm not gonna put all of it because we're gonna save some for the top. Now we're gonna put in a cup and a half of rice. We're putting in one chopped tomato. You can leave this out. I mean, pretty much this whole casserole is make it how you want it. So we're gonna dump this into the nine by 13 casserole dish. I'm gonna spray it real quick. Slowly pouring over the soup and sour cream mixture, nice and slow so it has time to seep down in there. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is put the cheese on top, then we're going to cover this with foil. I have the oven preheated to 350. It's going to cook covered for about 30 to 35 minutes. That's when the rice is going to cook. That's why we want to cover it so the rice can soak up all that liquid and cook in there. My pan is probably going to overflow a little bit, but that's okay. So after the 30 or 35 minutes, we'll remove the foil and then just let it cook about 5 or 10 more minutes just to get the cheese all nice and bubbly on top. And that's it. While this is cooking, I'm just going to make some sweet peas because that's what the family requested to go with it. I don't love sweet peas though, so I'm probably going to open up a few cans of pinto beans too. I'm now going to brand my tongue with that piece of broccoli right there, so I'm going to hold on just a moment. I want it. Oh, I want it. So she's Polynesian. Polynesian. Yeah. 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 Polynesian.